My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual who has uh, undergone um, gang stalking, uh, purposeful exposure to morgellons, and genetic manipulation, unknown toxic organisms, um, covert drugging with LSD and LSD-like hypnotic compounds, hallucinogenic compounds, uh, stimulant compounds, sleeping compounds, um, the uh, nano implantation of nano implants, biological implants, uh, connection to remote neural monitoring, and quote-unquote mind control, voice to skull, synthetic telepathy, Avatar, Ride Along, Secondary Consciousness, um, Possession by, Attempted Possession by Unknown Entities of Questionable Character. Um, I was exposed to unknown organisms that uh, permeated my bloodstream and my body creatures with glowing red eyes. I was dying. I was uh, interceded on with by an unknown what appeared to be interdimensional beings uh, using technology uh, to take away those parasitic whatever they were, and they saved my life. Uh, for what purpose and what end, I don't know, because weren't they also the ones who did this to me? I don't know. Um, Long-term uh, harassment and forced relocation, having to move over and over and over, you know, destruction and theft of personal property and uh, basically, 24-7, 365 onslaught of uh, harassment, mind control, no-touch torture, electromagnetic harassment, uh, you know, sickness, frequency control, uh, depopulation, genetic changing, Morgellons. Um, they have been doing this to me for a long time and quite possibly since the day I was born, maybe even before. Uh, anyway, this video, uh, I wanted to make briefly to show that uh, A, uh, my physical health is deteriorating, uh, as is most of those who've been exposed to this. Uh, there seem to be physical changes that may be the result of genetics and may be the result of the parasitic you know, organism, maybe the result of cancers, whatever, it may be the result of microwave, whatever, it may be the result of interference with the bio uh, scale or bio field that sustains us with our genetics or you know, who knows, just microwaving my body, you know, I don't know what this is a result of, but clearly I'm, you know, my nose is changing, my face is changing, my body is changing. One eye is bigger than the other. My thinking is uh, not as clear, as sharp, and multifaceted. And I digress a lot, and I lose my point, and I forget what I'm saying, and all the time. So anyway, here we are in the, uh, the room that I have temporarily until we move out or we get evicted, uh, where I've set up my uh, take it apart and put it together stuff. And what I wanted to show you here is this. Um, this here is uh, two large round magnets. Uh, they come from uh, a very loud, large uh, 
sound reinforcement speakers that were damaged and I took them out. Um, <clears throat> they're quite powerful when they stick together and uh, the only thing about them is they have this black round uh, magnet on the outside edge as well as this being magnetized and this magnet on the outside edge seems to control the emanation of of magnet, magnetic uh, flux lines so that uh, sound reinforcement speakers don't damage other or you know mess with monitors or whatever. Anyway, uh, what I've done is I've taken this small uh, disk drive motor which rotates. I took it out of a disk drive. Now unfortunately you can't just put power to these motors and make them go. Um, I found that, that they're, they're special DC step motors and they need a controller board, uh, which is basically you know, all the stuff that's inside the hard drive and they need a double power supply and everything. So I have one under here, I don't know if you can see it, underneath the two magnets here. Um, I'm just trying it in a double configuration. I was also thinking of putting one magnet here and one magnet here. But right now, this that little motor under there, it's not connected to anything, it's just it's free, you know, sitting there. Um, I did connect it to a computer, to a power supply, to a hard drive, and turn it on. And of course, the motor spins at an extremely high speed, and these magnets weigh about 25 pounds each, so there's a great deal of uh, force and, you know, inertia to overcome momentum and, and centrifugal force. And the motor spins way too fast, but it did get these things going quite fast. So it was going to jump, 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 and not a very practical use. So I'm trying to figure out some way that I can like um, mount these on the board and have them spinning either separately, one over here and one over here, or together. I'm not sure. And what my thought was was I would use like um, some kind of rubber band as a uh, belt and put it around the bottom or around the magnet and then get a smaller motor, either a slower motor or something, another motor that, that can drive these properly with its own power supply and mount it to some kind of board. And why am I doing all this crazy mounting of magnets that spin around onto boards and whatever in a desperate attempt to stop the loud high frequency ringing in my head there is a high pitched tonal uh, it sounds like a radiator steam radiator with with a tone or a 10k or higher tone it's very piercing at times it changes timbre it changes uh, it changes there's modulation in there uh, but you can't hear directly whatever and this signal uh, sometimes I feel is turned up so loud that it makes me vomit and, and uh, it makes me angry, it makes me frustrated and this is the signal that they use to take the biotelemetric data from me, I believe, and, and to feed me the, the data that they want. Uh, I could be wrong, it could just be a voice to skull, 10k tone, bumming in my ears all the time, but I think this is more sophisticated. We're talking about uh, coercive microwave technology, technology, frequency technology that has the ability to make you nauseous or change your, you know. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm thinking about spin electron or subatomic particle spin because it's my feeling, and I don't have any technical uh, measurements to back this up because I have no test equipment. Uh, a lot of my stuff was stolen make sure I couldn't do much, but um, I had a meter. Anyway, um, rotation, I don't, my thought is that these people are not using standard radio modulation, standard radio frequencies in ways that people like you and I could, you know, go to uh, wherever and get ourselves a, a scanner and start scanning through all the frequencies until we hear some weird tones and then we listen and we find that those weird tones have anything to do with the modulation, you know, what, what we're feeling and after a while you sort of get a hang of it. And there are people who listen, um, 
Preston Nichols is one of them. He had a, a whole bunch of radios set up in a room, you know, 50, 60 old radios, tube radios, and, um, you know, it, it's, uh, anyway, he was picking up these pulsed, these frequency swept things, and he said that, that uh, somehow the transmitter knows that the receiver is receiving the transmission because of the way this thing is designed. And that to me speaks of scalar or uh, isotonic waves. Um, so anyway, my thought is that if they're using uh, spin, you know, a spin ratio, spin offset, spin phase, spin direction, uh, there's so many amount, different ways you can make and take data from spin, electron spin. Uh, then there's interferometry, and then there's relaxometry. Uh, interferometry is looking at the patterns of interference that are created or creating interference patterns um, to create or modulate or measure or, you know, multi, you know. anyways, highly complex uh, mathematical waveform representations, interferometry, fast Fourier transforms, and then there's relaxometry where one measures the steady state of a molecule or an atom or a cell or a material or whatever, and then one would energize that with a particular form of energy depending on what form you're using, energize it enough to get it to jump to its next state, its next energized state, you know, um, whether it's jumped to the plasma or whether it just heats up a little bit and the electrons jump to one, you know, I'm not sure what they're doing, it's probably even more complex, but there's times where I feel like I'm being bombarded with energy which heats my body uh, until I'm hot and sweaty and frustrated and, and blah, it's horrible, you rip your clothes off, you're like, blah, and then it stops and then you begin to slowly cool down and my belief is that as you're cooling down the data you know the bio photons the scalar radio waves and the whatever other you know the, 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 the neutrons that go through you or whatever is they're doing <clears throat> that energy is being measured and and computers are highly complex, fast quantum computers possibly are turning that data back into useful biotelemetric, uh, you know, brain waves, uh, neural information, uh, body, you know, blood levels and, and um, other things. And my thought is that if they're using some kind of spin, then usually spins are dealt with electromagnetically, usually. Uh, by forcing these particles to interact with magnetic fields and to get them to rotate and so my thought was that getting you know these super magnets to spin uh, somehow uh, if I could get my head close to them maybe one on each side of my head and have them spinning that maybe just maybe I could lessen interfere with or stop the constant uh, torment, torture, and, you know, that I undergo. Um, I imagine that what I'm doing here is like a little kid playing with blocks, you know, whereas the thing that I'm trying to protect myself against is like, uh, you know, transmutational, interdimensional, uh, multi-level science, you know, quantum physics and super scalar <laughs> scale uh, string theory. I'm just babbling, but but that's my theory. But I have the feeling that, that this uh, is the direction of the answer. It's just a matter of figuring out, A, what type of particles and energies being used, B, how do we measure them, scatter them, rotate them, send them back, demodulate them, remodulate them, and unfortunately my math skills are not so great, um, so that these higher level operations are, are 
a little without uh, beyond my grasp. However, the the conceptual uh, I can grasp it. So I need to do a lot more research. And if any of you out there have any uh, clues or hints or information or you know things that you've observed that lend towards the, to the solution, the answer, the because the question is, what are we measuring? And I know that we're all being bombarded with multiple things. There's high power microwaves, there's low power microwaves, there's ELF, there's, you know, ultrasonics, there's infrared, there's, you know, God knows, it goes on and on and on. Scalar, um, subatomic particle, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. So, granted, we all have different things, uh, but I have the feeling that this, some kind of device, creates a super powerful vortex field uh, that could interfere with or manipulate what is being sent to us, you know? Um, you know, just some spinning magnets isn't going to do it, I know. Uh, when I put these magnets next to my head, they help. When I press this... Um, plate of aluminum next to my head really hard, it helps, it stops the tss for a moment, but then they seem to be able to tune around it. so my thought is if somehow I could change the field, it would be, but, you know, I know that I'm just grasping at straws, so if any of you have any ideas about uh, any successful anything, um, please feel free to share it. I'm getting dry mouth because of my medication for my panic attacks. Is anyway, uh, I'm blessed to be able to share these moments with you, and blessed to be able to express myself, uh, even if nobody hears it. it. Makes me feel better. And if any of you are helped by this, then I'm grateful. This is a horrendous, horrific, and horrible moment in many of our lives as the world is being forced through changes we really don't desire. And I pray that uh, we manage to uh, survive this and that it will stop. And if not, I pray that there is a, a life after this one that's You know, not like this. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.